If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. In this guide, you'll discover why you should focus on the core words as a beginner, how to get started learning these words, and the easiest way to learn the core 100 words without painful memorization. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So let's jump in. I'll guide you through our learning system so you get to see exactly what's inside and our members only study tools. So what are the core words? Core words are a specific set of words that are used the most in daily life. So these are words like I, you, yes, no, this, that, and other things. So the top 100 core words, they make up about 50% of all daily conversation. So if you're learning a language, it's a good idea to start with the core words first. So today we're gonna take a look at how you access the core words on our website and the different things that you can do with them to make sure that you study efficiently. So first to access the core words, you can find them from the vocabulary drop-down menu on the website. So you'll notice that there are two lists here. There is the 100 most common word list and the 2000 most common word list. So the 100 most common word list is free for all users. So anybody can access this list. If you want to access all of the 2000 most common words, you'll need to have a paid account. So for now, let's take a look at the 100 most common words and see what we can do here. So when you access the 100 word list, the core 100 word list, you'll get a page that looks like this. So for every entry in the list, you'll have the definition, of course, you'll have the part of speech, you'll have a picture to go along with the word, and you'll have an audio button that you can press to listen to the pronunciation. You'll also have some examples here. So if you need some sample sentences, you can find those here. So let's talk about how we can study these core words to make sure your study session is very efficient. So the first thing you can do, probably the easiest thing that you can do, is to go to this button in the top right that says View Slideshow. So if you press this button, you will get a vocabulary slideshow that includes audio as well. You can make some changes here to the settings. This has play sample sentence audio checked. So if you want to listen to the sample sentence audio, you can choose to do that or turn it off and loop playback. So that means it will continue to show you words uh, after you have finished the vocabulary. So when you're ready, you can hit the start slideshow button and begin. So there are some tools down here you can use to make it faster or slower and so on. So this is probably the easiest way if you just wanna start and get going and begin your studies here. So this again is from the top right here in the corner of the screen. If, however, you want to do something else, let's say you want to study only a few of the vocabulary words, you can check these boxes to the side of the vocabulary word and you can add selected words to, say, the word bank, for example, if you want to study them later or if you're keeping a list of interesting words, whatever, or you can add them to a flashcard deck. So if you have a flashcard deck that you're studying or you want to make a new deck, you can do that here. So these are a couple of different ways that you can study with the core word list. And this is a really, really good idea to do because again, these are the words that are the most commonly used in everyday conversation. And so these are the words you are going to use the most. So it's a really good idea to make sure that you start with these words. And then once you're finished with the 100 core word list, depending on the account that you have, you can then access the next 100 and the next 100 by clicking on 200, 300, 400, 500, and so on up here at the top of the page. So you'll be able to access everything super easily. And you'll also know how much progress that you've made and how many of those core words you have left to study. So this is a super, super easy to use and great tool to make sure that you are studying efficiently and to make sure that you are studying the words that matter the most. If you're learning a language, start learning the core words first. These are the words that are used almost every day, instead of words like zebra, philosophy, or economics. You get the core 100 words list for free inside our learning system, and you can master them with the audio slideshow. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account.
Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the How to Talk About Your Feelings PDF eBook. You'll learn over 90 words and phrases for feelings with this bonus PDF picture eBook. Download and review it on any device. Second, the Correcting Mistakes Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to correct others and say, no, you're wrong, and other fun, useful sentence patterns. Download this PDF cheat sheet for free. Third, what are the hardest words to pronounce? This bonus lesson reveals the 10 words that every single beginner struggles with. Master them and you'll speak like a pro. Fourth, can you talk about the economy in your target language? Of course, it's a struggle. But if you want to speak like a functioning and capable adult in your target language, this bonus lesson is for you. Learn how to say profit, demand, taxes, and much more. Fifth, what are you afraid of? Public speaking, spiders, projection? With the new Phrases to Express Your Fears lesson, you'll be able to talk about what you're afraid of in your target language. And sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the innovative language learning app, you learn language fast through conversations. And you start speaking in minutes because our conversation lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Download innovative language learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to achieve your language goals when your motivation is low. Are you terrible at staying motivated with language learning? Good, because then you'll love today's episode. If you want to learn how to stay motivated or regain motivation if you've lost it, stick around. There are five simple ways to stay motivated and keep going. And one of them you'll probably hate, but you need to hear it anyway. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the How to Talk About Your Feelings PDF eBook. You'll learn over 90 words and phrases for feelings with this bonus PDF picture eBook. Download and review it on any device. And second, the Correcting Mistakes Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to correct others and say, no, you're wrong, and other fun, useful sentence patterns. Download this PDF cheat sheet for free. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to achieve your language goals when your motivation is low. So, some time ago, you made the decision to learn a new language. You took the first step. You started, which is super important. But the second half of the battle is to keep going, which is where most people fall off. And for that, you need motivation. So how do you stay motivated or regain motivation if you've lost it? There are five simple ways to stay motivated and keep going. One, find a way to enjoy learning. And this one is important because if you want to reach a goal like learning a language, what will get you there? Is it A, your desire to reach this goal or B, the process, the actual learning? You can want and dream about the goal all you want, but it's the learning, not the wanting, that actually gets you speaking the language. So you must actually like the learning process or at least not hate it. So what can you do here? If you're one of the few people that genuinely love learning regardless of how, you've hit the jackpot and you'll be fine. But if you're like most people who've had a rocky relationship with trying to learn things, you should find what works for you. If you prefer to listen to audio lessons and podcasts, then go with that. If you prefer reading, check out our extensive reading books. And if you enjoy writing things out by hand, check out our free language worksheets. The only right answer here is find what you like, but make sure it actually works. Because you may like watching YouTube videos, you may like doing vocabulary games on your phone, but if you can barely speak the language after weeks and months, then you're not actually learning anything and it doesn't work. All right, next step, two, learn with an actual teacher, whether with our live group classes, our Premium Plus teacher, or your own teacher. Having that human interaction and someone to answer to is automatically more motivating. 
Just think, if you do language lessons on Sundays at 8 p.m., if it's between A, a teacher, and B, an app on your phone, you'd definitely be more motivated to make it to the lesson with the actual teacher. There's an actual person waiting for you who will talk to you, ask you questions, and give you feedback. And the app that's sitting on your phone somewhere on the third or fourth screen, it's not exactly going to get you motivated. If it did, you'd be fluent already, but you're not, and here we are. Number three. You must see your progress. This is the next best way to stay motivated. Imagine going to the gym for a few weeks, and now you're finally starting to see some muscle in the mirror. You see results, and that's pretty motivating, right? Those results make you want to keep on going because you feel like you're getting better, and because you're getting better, it's kind of becoming fun. But how do you apply that to language learning? Because you can't really see language muscles. The good news is, there are a few things you can do here. A, if you're learning with a teacher, ask for feedback. If a native speaker tells you you've improved, how happy would you be to hear that? B, next, track your progress with our dashboard on the site. Remember, the one thing you can control with language is the time you put in. And language learning is a function of time. The more time you put in, the better you get. If you're ever wondering why you're not improving, well, the easy answer is usually you're not putting in enough time. And our learning system will track that for you. When you finish a lesson, the dashboard tracks that and shows you how far you've come. The hours studied, the lessons completed, how close you are to finishing the beginner level and leveling up to intermediate level. These are just two ways you can see your progress grow. Fourth, have something to lose. Now, this method is unusual, and most people will not do it, but it works really well for the few that do. The fact is, no one likes losing, and avoiding loss is such a powerful motivator that it's well known in psychology. Studies show that the amount of pain you feel over losing $10 is much greater than the positive feelings you get over finding $10. So how do you apply this to language? You can use this loss aversion as motivation. Just invest in a language learning textbook or a learning program or a class. The point is, if you invest, it means you care enough about your goals to invest. You don't want to waste your investment, and as such, you're emotionally committed to this goal. You'll value and use the resource a lot more, unlike the free apps you downloaded and forgot about. Now, you'd think that this last tip would be the one that people would hate to hear, but it's not. It's the fifth and last one. Five, keep on going. The tricky thing with motivation is you can wish for it, you can want it all you want, you can watch videos about it, but true motivation comes after taking action, not before, which is why all of the tips we mentioned involve some sort of action. So if you don't take action and learn, the motivation won't come. So stick with the language and keep going for two reasons. First, eventually you'll see results, which make it more fun and inspires more action. And second, if you stick with the language long enough, the language becomes a part of your identity, which is exactly what you want. At that point, you don't have to motivate yourself because it's natural. You just do it because it's who you are. So take action first and the motivation will follow. Thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the satisfaction of reaching goals. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.